So this All right, is the we're live. First uh, fire up here. We got Pap on the camera, and I'm gonna take it for a ride. Hey guys, it's Josh from JMP Cycle, and uh, Pap got a little carried away here during the week, so we don't have a time lapse for as much of this as I would have hoped. But I was just doing simple things. I didn't do anything special. Yeah. Just put the pipe on. So basically, we went with an FMF uh, slip-on pipe that we had. Um, so that's going to have really nice sound and add to the power a little bit. Um, just kind of refurnish the. Uh, Header on it, got it all mounted up. Yeah. Um, foot pegs have been put on. We did this. Um, we redid it up. that, so that's nice and tight now. Some of these wobble pretty the bad. Clean. Um, we did the kick, we welded the kickstand. Oh yeah, we had to weld a, a three, three and a what quarter? Three. Uh, and three and an eighth. Three and an eighth. So we uh, basically added a little and extension now it'll there. Stand on its own. Yeah. So now the bike will stand up. If you're up. not six four, you're probably not going to be able to ride this thing. Yeah, and we put a new uh, chain guard on too. We had to put this on because uh, the other one was other one was smoked. So um, there's that, and uh, so yeah, chain guard. Um, put the levers on. Little Honda thing there. We're gonna have to fabricate a mount for this. Uh, front area for a name plate <clears throat> or a number plate but yeah the bike has come together we have not fired it up yet um we put oil on it we just got to put some gas in and i cleaned the carburetor so should be good man um so we're going to give it a rip here in a minute i'm just going to go over a few last things here and uh we'll check it out so pap it anything that's it hey yeah. We'll be rocking and rolling here in a few minutes. And we're going to do uh, measurements on the stock 200 versus this one. Um, exposed shaft on this uh, shock is 3 inches. Um, and then we'll do actually uh, seat height and uh, clearance uh, from the bottom of the frame. Um, so we're going to do a little bit of time lapse here and put a few more pieces on. And uh, that'll be a wrap on the custom build. So thanks for watching and following along as we've made this bike. And we're going to get this bad boy fired up here in just a few minutes. Hey guys, welcome back to uh, another episode of JNP Cycle. Uh, we're just wrapping up this custom build here. It has been so much fun to put together. Um, we really just enjoyed it. So uh, Grandpa and I here are just finishing up putting on the uh, skid plate. And um, getting ready to get this thing buttoned up. We actually uh, filmed this over the course of a few weekends because um, A, we had some bad weather. And uh, B, we had a, uh, a leak from the petcock and the carburetor. So we actually ended up purchasing a niche uh, carburetor and putting the stock XR200 jets in there, which I believe is a 110 main and a 38 pilot. Um, and it, it ran flawlessly after that. So um, so yeah, we, we got that piece in there. And uh, I think that the biggest thing, and we encounter this a lot when we purchase older bikes, um, when you put gas into a tank, uh, don't put a lot in. Just put enough to, uh, um, you know, check to make sure there isn't a leak. Because if you fill the tank with gas, then you got, you know, a big uh, problem. So it's something that we've done several times. And I told uh, my grandpa, I'm like, we got to be more careful about um, how much gas we put in when we haven't tested a tank before. So uh, anytime you work on stuff that's old, never trust it. Because um, you have no idea if it's going to be uh, functional or, or not. So. Um, so yeah, we were actually just working on getting this bottom bolt in uh, to the frame um, after the motor was mounted. So it's uh, usually a pain um, to get this thing mounted up and uh, got that in there. Um, so yeah, the uh, the bike is um, you know really coming together here. We ended up putting a XR400 uh, speedometer, well not a speedometer, but a, a mileage tracker up top, um, so you can see how many miles you go and track your mileage while you're out riding, which is nice. Um, at some point, I'd like to get a um, some kind of a headlight. I don't care for the cheap knockoff ones on eBay, um, so I'm not sure if we'll purchase one of those, or maybe we'll get like an XR400 or a 250 shroud and throw it up front. Um, I know a couple people mentioned the the rear tail light would be a nice touch too. We might do that as well, it just depends. 
I think I'd just be happy with the headlight on this just to kind of polish it up um, for final riding. So, yeah, we really enjoyed putting this bike together. Um, it's been a lot of fun, and uh, I'm sure you guys will uh, get to really enjoy the, the riding scene and some of the other videos we're putting out in comparison to a stock uh, 200 versus a, a 1986 mod versus a 95 mod, uh, which is what this bike is here. So um, had plenty of people say, oh, you know, these swing arms and these things aren't going to match up, which, I mean, was partly true, um, but you just have to make some adjustments to get this thing together. And honestly, how it came together was um, really nice, and I would take this thing anywhere. I have no no doubts about its capabilities or any kind of weird issues because it's, um, you know, custom built. All right, we're live. All right, so this All right is, uh, we're live. First uh, fire up here, we got Pap on the camera. I'm gonna take it for a ride.